The reason for the towel on the chair is so you haven't got a sharp edge to cut off the circulation on his arm. Okay, so <clears throat> the reason for this is so if there's less blood in the hand, the hand will shrink and then when you start to warm up and the blood flow returns back to your hand, it'll swell up and the, the bandages will get really tight. Okay, so we had the towel on there to, to maintain his circulation so there's no sharp edges cutting off on his arm. And what we'll do is we'll give his hand just a, a bit of a massage around his fingers and stuff, just to warm up his hands, just get him to open and close his hand. Open and close it as. See? Just so it warms up and he gets a, a good circulation through his hand. Oh. Now, we'll start wrapping the hand. And what we're going to do, we're going to start at the base of the wrist, the base of the hand on the wrist, and we're going to um, we're going to go away from the thumb. Okay. Just come forward a bit. Else. Okay. And what you want to do, you want to go about a third of the way up the arm. And then head back down. A good spread on your hand, does. Okay, now we go around the thumb, and then over the back of the hand, just above the base of the, the, the wrist, over, under, and over again. And we're going to the base of the thumb, and across to the little finger, to the forefinger and across over his knuckles. Let me get the pad. Which the pad is always a little bit wider than the hand, okay? Because you want it to overlap over the sides to get good support and an even spread over his knuckles. Okay? Just keep your hands steady for us. Tuck it over the side of the forefinger. Over to the little finger. And then what we do here is we bring it over to the front of the pad and tuck it under. Okay? That's just to seal it in. And then over the back. That's to seal it in. Okay? Now before you go any further, just make sure, make a fist for me as. Just make sure that it's over the over the knuckles, okay? So that all the knuckles are protected. Okay, that's fine there. And we'll go. Tuck it under again, over the back, seal it in, okay, and we'll start crisscrossing. Keep your fingers spread out, otherwise it's going to get really tight. Really tight. Over the thumb. Over the thumb again. And base of the base of the hand, just over the wrist. And what it does, it seals the back. Keeps it tight so the pad doesn't slip. And crisscross again. You basically just keep just keep repeating everything. The crisscross over the wrist. You need plenty on the wrist because that's one of the main parts that's going to take going to take the force of a shot. And you can pad the knuckles; you can't pad your wrist. So you need plenty of support around your wrist. And what we do here now? Get some inch, one inch zinc oxide tape. So the bandage doesn't start falling off. Just seal it in. Just place the tape on. Okay? Don't add any tension to it. Okay? And then what we do now, we're gonna start going through the through the fingers. Turn over for a size. Okay? This is where you make the bar for them to grip onto. Pinch it together. And what I'll do first, I'll go between the ring finger and the middle finger first. 
under. Sticky side down to the floor. Oh no, spin over us. That's it. Now make a fist for me. Right. You're getting to make a fist and make sure that the fist and the wrist and everything is in punching position. Okay? Just lean it forward just to touch me as. That's it. Just put that on there just to seal it on. Okay? <clears throat> Turn over again, as. Okay? And what I'll do this time now is I'll go between the forefinger and the middle finger. Just pinch it together there. Turn over, as. Right. Make a fist again. Lean your wrist forward just a bit. Turn over for us, as. Okay, now we're going between the small finger and the ring finger. Pinch together, turn over, make a fist. Now this is where <coughs> we start and we tape everything now just to make sure everything's all sealed in. Okay? And again, always start away from the thumb with the tape as you did with the bandage. And then just place it on. Don't add any tension to it. Because as they get as the fighter starts to get warm, his hand will start swelling up and it'll just get tight on its own. Open your hand, spread. Over, under the thumb, over the base, over the base of the hand, top of the wrist, and again, over the thumb, under, okay, and then you start your crisscross. Turn your hand like that for a second. Now one of the main things that you need to remember is you can't tape over the knuckles, okay? It's one of the rules in the, in the in a boxing that you're never allowed to tape over the knuckles, okay? So if you're unsure about where the knuckles are, get your fork, make a fist as. There's your knuckles. Where it bulges out, see where you've gone through the fingers? Where it bulges out, that's your knuckles. So here, you're not allowed, but on top here, open your hand again as. There you are. That's allowed. Okay. Right, make a fist for me, as. Well, you get your fighter then to make a fist, and you just make sure everything is nice and in place. Okay, and then you get your fighter to turn over. Okay, and then the, the excess tape, you just fold it under. Just turn you. That's it. You fold it under, just to make the bar. Just tuck anything in. Turn over. Make a fist, as. That's one. 